Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can set up the filters in your OpenCAD store. For finding out the filter, you have to log in your dashboard area, then go to the catalog. And in the catalog, there is the filters. It's very much important part for your store. But now I'm just click on the filters. So for educational purpose, I'm just creating that filters like for the t-shirt. So you already create some of the categories, in the t-shirt. So I'm just want to create some of the filters like the made by made by countries that are made by USA or made by that thing should be the UK. Okay, so it depends on you what kinds of you want. So if you know about the system, how you can create the filter, then I hope you can well understand about that things. If you want to filter your product by the color, if you want to filter with or by the countries, by the location. So whatever you want, you can actually create that things. Just follow my step. I will show you that things with a live example. But now I'm just add a new. There is a filter option. I just click on the add new on here. So now, first of all, you have to create the filter group name. So for now, I'm just make that things as a made by. Okay, I'm just putting as a made by. So that will be our filter group name. I just put that things as a short order is a one. And now the value. So I'm just putting they have two value for education purpose. I am using that things right now. Like I'm just make that things as a USA. Okay, so that that, that should be the made by USA. And I just make as a UK. Okay. For education purpose, I'm just adding two of these. So that is actually the system. So I just want to share with you how you can manage your filter. And then whatever that you want, you can just add the things for your purposes. Okay. And now I just put the things as a one and the short order should be the two. And for now, I just save this filter. So our filter is now done. Now that we have to add this made by in the categories. So now we already created some of the category for the t-shirt. So now I just open the t-shirt category. So click on the categories. So I just want to visible that things made by USA or UK for specific these two of this product. I will just added that things in our t-shirt category. So I hope you can well understand about it after end of this. Like I just find out the t-shirt category. So here we have to add the our filter values on here like this category. Okay, so I just edit this category again. And here now go to the data. And I told you I when I discuss about the filters, then it will be very much clear to you. For now, I'm just adding the two of this value we just created, like the made by UK. And I just also want to add the made by USA. So here I just add the two of the value that we created in our filter option area. Okay. So I hope you can well understand about it. First of all, we just add the things in our category page. So there is the t-shirt category. So I just want to visible that things on here. So for now, I just add the two of the filter on here. Now save it. Now go to your product section area. So I just open the products. And in the products, there is the men's t-shirt 101 is visible on here. You can see there is the men's t-shirt 1 and that is the men's t-shirt 2. So for now, I just edit this product. Now go to the links. And in the links, we already discussed about the categories and now the filters. Okay, I told you that when I discuss about the filter, I will show you that things. But now here I just want to for education purpose I just want to make the things as a made by UK okay so this product will be made by UK so that the things we just set up on here I just filtered that things for the one that is UK okay here just I just want to make the things as a UK now I just save it and here we just added another product this trans t-shirt 2 so let's find out this product go to the next page and in this page so that is actually our man's t-shirt 2 so now let's edit this product and now go to the link option area and here I just want to add as a made by USA. So that's the things I just set up on here individually and in the category page we add the two of these value in our categories area. Okay. So that the things we have to do now I just save this page. So now you have to go to your extension area and in the extension there is the extensions click on here. Now search for the modules. And I'm just select as a modules because when you install the open card, we get by default one of the modules for the filters. So that the things I just want to find out on here. You can see there is a filters. So make that sure that is installed. Okay, you, you can see there is already installed in our site. So you don't need to do anything on here. But now I just go back and now we just add that things with the layout. Okay, so like there is actually a t-shirt category. So that is actually the category layout. So I just I have to add that and uh, filter option into the category layouts like there is a design and in the layout so click on that layout so here is the, all that layout you can find out on here like there is a checkout layout there is a category right column so there is category left column and you can see that is actually the category page so there is the t-shirt category page and the, there is the left column okay you can see there is a left column all the things is available on here but now so there is the category left column so we just need to add edit this page so click on the edit 
So here, I hope you can well understand about it now. Like you can see there is the main contain main. So that is actually the main contain body option. And in the main contain, you can see there is a category. And so that's the category is visible on here. So that is the category is portion. And now after the category, there is the base seller. So that is the base seller is visible on here. Okay. So you can actually manage that things on here. Like there's the banner left. So I want to discuss about the banner. Then you should be very much clear to you. So you can see there is a banner is display on here. And for now, I just want to add the filters onto this area. For now, doing this, I just add new one and select the filters. You can see there is the filters is visible on here because it's already installed in our site. So I just select as the filters and now I just save this. Okay, I just save this. And now if you refresh this page, like I just refresh this page. Now you can see, yes, that is now made by under the USA and the UK. But now they have the two product like that I just set up as a UK and that is the product I just set up as a USA. Let's check this out is working or not. For now, I'm just select as a USA and refine this search. Yes, you can see there is the USA product is now visible on here. And if you want to visible the UK product, like I just select this UK and refine the search. Yes, now the UK product is visible on here. So I hope you can well understand about it and how you can set up the, that things in your category page. Like there is the actually the little bit down. So if you want to put that things in after that category option, then you can do it. Like I just click select on the category, this left column again and click on the edit. And now here I just add some of the short note like there is a zero. Okay, I just put that things with the further one. Okay, and I just make that things as a two and make that things as a three. So there is actually the short order. So we should be uh, visible with the short orders. But now I just save that things again. And if you now refresh this page, yes, you can see there is now short order is the second position. So I hope you can well understand about it. For education purpose, I'm just using the two of these on here, like this make by. So I just refine that things with the made by country. So you can actually put whatever you want if you want to refine that things with the price so you can set up that things with the price for better your customer user friendly okay so it should be very much helpful to offer your customer and if you want to add your filter by the color then you can set up that things as per your demand okay so i hope that is actually the system so that is the system i just share with you how you can actually manage that things and you can also find out some of the modules if you want to install that modules, you can also manage your filters with these modules. Okay, but system is that just like that system. So I just shared that things with you with a live example. So you have to flow that things and you have to practice a lot with this. Okay. And here we just added the in the t-shirt category. So we just put all two of these filter value into the t-shirt categories. For the reasons when you come to the t-shirt category area, then it should be visible. Like here, if you want to click on the fashion category and here you can see that is not visible on here. So I hope you can well understand about it. So how the, you can define every category by the every filter as per your demand. So that is actually the system you have to do. So that's how you can add your filters in a restore. So I hope you can well understand about it. In our next video, I will discuss about the attributes, how you can create the attributes and how you can create the attribute groups for your product. In our next video, I will show you with the live example. So thank you for watching this video. Keep learning.